here with Jeff Lyon at CES 2009. He's from Coolit IT and this is their latest product which is, well, it's kind of a sealed water cooling system, right? Absolutely. We've just released a new kind of product for us. It's actually called the Domino Advanced Liquid Cooler or Domino ALC. And it is 100% factory sealed and maintenance free. So it actually takes a lot of the fuss and muss that's usually associated with liquid cooling completely out of the picture. Absolutely. I mean, those clamps on liquid cooling normally are kind of scary. I mean, liquid in an electronic device kind of sounds a bit stupid normally. Well, yeah, normally the two things aren't associated with one another, but this is actually a finely tuned, well-engineered solution where instead of it being a hobbyist kit, this is a serious piece of gear. Um, the, the nice advances that we've taken into consideration here is that we've actually even gone to the point of having electronic controls so that we can minimize the fan speed based on whatever your preferences are. Right? So can you manually control the fan as well as, or is it auto? Well, it's actually automatic and you can choose which automatic program is being run. So there's actually a little button right here on the side that if I want to run it in whisper mode, then you see the tiny little picture of a fan here with an arrow underneath it. That's indicating what program I'm in, which is actually keeping the fan whisper quiet at 1,000 RPM. Okay, but if you're doing some serious gaming, you might want to turn it up? A lot of the guys are wanting to go one notch up from that. So it gives you two beeps, I press the button, and it moves it over into a slightly higher fan range. It's still automatically regulating the fan so that when you're doing your hardcore gaming and there's more heat being produced, it will gradually increase the speed of the fan automatically so that it keeps your, your CPU, your expensive CPU, nice and safe. If you really want to get serious about it and do some, you know, hardcore overclocking and you've got your headset on, you don't care how loud it is, well, then we have an overdrive mode, which basically allows the fan to run as fast as it can. That's and is it loud? It's loud. Okay. It's, it's about 3,000 RPM, which to me is unreasonable. I think I can actually feel the air coming off it from here. I'm not <laughs> joking. It's, it's not quite that bad, but <laughs> it's, uh, it certainly is moving a lot of heat that way. No problem with it. So you're selling these as a, a kit? in the aftermarket and you're also selling it to PC manufacturers, is that correct? That's absolutely right. We built one that was going to do the trick for both. You know, the, the, quite frankly, the, the OEM audience is going to want something that is easily shippable. It's not going to fall off the motherboard. We put only about 200 grams of, of uh, weight on the motherboard, so it actually is a lot easier for them to ship than the air cooling. And the big challenge for us was making sure that we had um, a price point that was competitive with the high-end air coolers. I mean, it's usually we get to this stage and people are asking, oh, what's it going to cost? Is it going to be $125, yeah, be a dollars $150? That would be a pretty good price. No, it's $79. Really? Wow. That, that is very cheap for a, a water cool solution. It's actually less expensive than the new air coolers that have been announced here at the show. Yeah, and that's right. Actually, you got an award, didn't you, at the show? Absolutely. Um, we managed to get a uh, CES Innovations Award for 2009, which we're very proud of. Excellent. Good stuff. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.